All right, welcome to week two of my Knees Over Toes program review for ACL Reconstruction Surgery Recovery. As you can see here, I've gained a little bit of depth on my just two-legged squat here. Uh, I'm still definitely favoring my left leg and um, still not balanced out. You can see here in this angle a lot better. The left knee shoots out more. My right knee isn't quite flexible enough to shoot out as and give me that depth that I'm looking for when I'm squatting. Uh, but I've gained a lot of strength. I've gained a lot of strength. You can see here I am able to do a single leg squat to the chair uh, for a few reps. And that's on my bad knee. It feels a lot better than it was feeling last week. Getting stronger every day. And I just wanted to talk about two main takeaways that I've gotten. Um, the first one is an exercise from the Knees Over Toes program that I feel like has made a huge difference in my recovery. I can definitely feel the progress that I've made in this exercise alone and the regressions, uh, the regression uh, strategies that Ben includes in the program itself have been huge for helping me deload and then work up to um, building up the strength in the exercise and then building up the depth. And yeah, that first exercise is this one you see here, the Astagrass ATG split squat. And definitely feel like it's made a huge difference in the overall strength of my knee, the overall strength of, you know, just my quadricep muscle, been able to improve my depth as I go along throughout the week. And definitely feel like this is something that has made a huge difference in my recovery so far. All of the stretches that Ben includes with the program itself have helped me increase um, the flexibility in my hip flexors, flexibility in my hips overall, my hamstrings, and I feel like it's definitely made a big difference in uh, attributing to my recovery here. But as you can see, uh, my right leg is still very weak compared to my left, as you can see here. Uh, not nearly as much depth, not nearly as much speed coming up, and definitely struggling to improve the strength in this area. But the second takeaway, and this isn't from Ben's program, but I feel like has made a huge, huge difference in my recovery uh, and just building up the strength in my quad. And this is the exercise you can see here, just the isometric quad extension. Uh, I lost a ton of muscle in the quad and the hamstring as I was recovering from surgery and, and unable to utilize the muscle very much at all. And so I feel like if you guys are looking to recover as quickly as possible and interested in the knees over toes program, definitely include isometric quad extension because that has made a huge difference. I can definitely feel even after doing a few sets, um, of the quad extension machine and then going and doing other exercises, how much stronger my knee feels overall. Again, with this exercise, I started as light as that machine could go. So I started at five pounds, which is as low as this one at my gym can do. And I was just very, very slow and controlled reps, uh, not wanting to put too much tension on the knee. And so uh, if it was hurting at all, I would um, slow it down, back it off. But these two things I'd say, overall have made huge improvements in my recovery are the two exercises that I think have made um, the biggest difference in my recovery overall. And as you can see towards the end of the week here, look at the improvement in the depth, the speed coming up. And the strength of my knee overall feels really good at the end of week two. So that's all I got for you guys. My final thoughts for the second week of the Knees Over Toes program. Uh, ATG split squat, a great exercise for ACL recovery. And then if you're doing the knees over toes program, definitely recommend uh, quadricep extension. So that way you can build up the muscle back in your quadricep. And that's all I got for week two. Looking forward to week three. Follow along if you're getting anything out of this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave the comments below. And I'll link the KOT program in the description as well.